A new year means a new updated fragrance collection video. So if you want to know what fragrances I have on the shelves behind me, stay tuned and find out. Hey, what's going on? Hunter here and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, what I do is I make fragrance related content. So if you love fragrances, hit that subscribe button down below and also make sure to follow my fragrance Instagram page. But that's right guys, we are just going into 2023, a brand new year. And as always, every new year, I like to pretty much do an updated fragrance collection video just to see how my collection has changed from last year to this year. And trust me, my collection has grown probably the most within that time frame. I've gotten so many new fragrances and currently at around 300 to around 350 bottles or even more. I haven't counted in a while, but I don't want to make this video too, too long. So I'm just going to go through every single bottle that is in my collection, not really talk about them and just get right straight into the point. So let's not waste any time and get right into it. So of course I do have three bookshelves as you guys see in my video. So I'm gonna work my way from the bottom left, go to the right and then work my way up to the more expensive niche stuff. So stay tuned for that. But on this first shelf here, I do pretty much have like some of my indies, clone houses, etc. So the first, we have my Authenticity Perfumes is Lone Reach. We have Coffee Lush, Fresh Boss, Summer Vibes, I think 4.0. We have Barbershop, Suede Mist, which is a new launch. Tobacco Boss, Summer Vibes, I think 3.0, Clean Musk, Cherry Land, and of course, back here we have Green Aurora. Right here, we do have the brand new House Sphinx Fragrances. The first one is Black Anubis. We have, I think, uh, Tabac Citron Vani. This one is First, or uh, this one is Signature. And then the back one, the black bottle, is uh, First Date. Right here, I do have Sammy Andras. I have a few of these White Sapphire. Red Space, I think this one is Green Space, and of course, uh, Crystal Light Cosmos. We have some of my uh, sensual obsessions. The first one is King of Kings, which is an Aventus clone. Have a, good uh, have a Good Night. We have Pinnacle right there. We also have Florida Waves. We have Moon of Juniper, and of course, Heaven. And then the last one is, I believe, uh, Royal Obsessions. Now right here, I do so have some of my duas. I begin in the duo a lot. First one is Fierce Atar, Invasion of the Barbers, uh, Flagship, uh, Enter the Tiger, Workout Elixir, Rockstar, and we have 100 Whispers. Right here, I do have another clone house, which is the Nazar Fragrances. We have Hatsivat. Layton Exclusive, Black Leopard, Oud Wood, Aventus, Rural Paradise, Black Butter, and back there is Kalan. Now we have uh, one from Lunar & Co, which is Wood Oud, which is the Oud Wood clone, of course. We have some Arome, uh, Dark Honey, and then Light Ambergreen. Right here we have some from Hugh Laurent, which is a kind of underrated house. We have Vergamo. We have Bergamo and of course Affluent. Right over here, I do obviously have a lot from the House of Dossier as you guys can see. So let's start over here. I do have Powdery Tobacco, Woody Chestnut, Aromatic Ginger, Oriental Cherry, Fougere Oud, Woody Rum, Musky Oak Moss, Ambery Saffron, Ambery Vetiver, Woody Vetiver, uh, Musky Gayak, Woody Sandalwood, Floral Rose, Woody Sage, Oriental Sage, Green Verbena, Fruity Oak Moss, Oriental Oak Moss, and of course, Spicy Orchid. Let's go to the next shelf. Over here, I do have my Jar Movedoses. The first one is uh, Vintage, Dark Rebel, Dark Rebel Rider, I think Crimson, the uh, Nick Jonas collaboration, Artisan Pure, and then back there I have the Oud which is discontinued. I do have a few Armas, of course, Hunter Intense. I have Hunter, the original. Uh, I have Hunter for Women. Club de Nuit Intense Man, the EDT. And then Club de Nuit Intense Man, the huge bottle of the Eau de Parfum. Right here, I do my Tumis, which is the first one is Continuum. I do have Atlas. I have Kinetic. 
also unwind and of course awaken right here are my bentley fragrances i have majestic cashmere i also have wild vetiver and exotic musk i have silver lake and of course the iconic bentley for men intense now over here i do have some from orientica the first one is from their new collection the exclusive ood the first one is classic emerald blue and of course sport and then i have their art collection the first one is exotic and romantic now i do have salvatore from ferragamo's pour homme and f black pour homme d square wood two or d square d square two wood then i have uh john paul dupont du duar now over here i do have my tommy bahama martinique one of my most sentimental fragrances nautica classic polo green intense or just polo intense polo green and then i have polo blue i think ultra blue uh jean paul gautier Le Mans. i have ck1 summer i think 2019 and ck1 shock hugo boss reversed i have jacquard noir and the new jacquard intense of course gray flannel then i have abercrombie and fitch first instinct Lalique Ancre Noir All Extreme, Juicy Couture's Dirty English, I have Paul Sebastian, I have a few from Talia Sodi, which is Liquid Sun, and Bloom and Opal. Right here I do have three from English Laundry, of course London, I have Riviera, and Taishan's Waters, Davidoff Cool Water and Davidoff Hot Water. So let's move up to the next shelf. I have Terry Hermes O Intensive Vetiver, a huge 200 ml bottle. Uh, Javago's 24K, which actually has gold flakes in it, which is pretty cool. Cremo Bourbon and Oak and Cremo Distiller, Distillers Blend. 1 million Parfum, 1 million Lucky. Azaro The Most Wanted, Azaro Wanted, Azaro Pour Ohm, and Azaro Pour Ohm Nighttime. Mr. Burberry Indigo, Burberry Touch, and just Burberry for Men, Dolce & Gabbana K, Carolina Rare CH Man Privé, uh, Toas, I think this is Man Chill, Jimmy Choo Man Ice, Versace the Dreamer, another sentimental fragrance in my collection, Versace Eros, the original EDT, Versace Dylan Blue, and the classic Blue Jeans, over here, I have Spice Bomb, the original, Prada Loam, Gucci Guilty, Valentina Womo Intense, Mount Blanc Individuel, and Moschino's Toy Boy. Mount Blanc Explore right there. Now for my Loams, I of course have Loam Eau de Parfum, Loam All Team, Loam Sport, Lanouit de Loam, and of course, Lanouit de Loam La Intense. I have Yves Saint Laurent's Y Eau de Parfum right here. I have Aquity Joe Profumo, Aquity Joe Profondo, and Aquity Joe Absolute Instinct. Then for my Dior's, I have Dior Homme 2020 and the original Dior Homme. I have uh, Sauvage Elixir, which is my favorite flanker, Sauvage EDT. For Chanel's, I have Blue de Chanel Eau de Parfum, Chanel Allure Homme Sport Eau Extreme, and the original Allure Homme. Over here, a few from Cote Q. I have Riviera Nights, I have Valencia, and I have Impetus. Now for some of my commodities, I have Velvet Plus. Back here, I have Vetiver, Bergamot, and Magnolia. Some from Abbott, New York City is The Cape, Mojave, uh, Sequoia, and Telluride. I have uh, Fleur's Tangerine Boy, which is an awesome summer fragrance. I cannot wait to wear that. Somebody Wood. Back here, I have the Maker Fire. I have Byredo's Gypsy Water. Juliet Has a Gun, Not a Perfume. Some from Guy Fawkes, which is Hefe and Preston. Then I have Brooklyn Fragrance Lover's Fragrance, which is Red Brook Parfums. Rest in peace to him. I have Virtus Aurora Amber. Masoni Wave and blue atlases atlantis then i have both collections from santa lucia azabache gala and love then i have of course come closer 
to conquering every day right there. Let's move up to my Tom Fords, which consists of Oud Mineral, Oud Fleur, Oud Wood, Tobacco Oud, Tuscan Leather, Beau de Jour, Fougere Platine, Jasmine Rouge, Bitter Peach, Rose de Roussy, Effin Fabulous. Back here I have Black Orchid, the EDT, which is discontinued. Black Orchid, Eau de Parfum. Ombre Leather, Costa Azura. And then I have some from Morasque, which is Sahara Blue, Al Andalus, Contessa, and I think uh, Santa Granado, I believe that's how you say it. Now for my Mas Milanos, I have Tango, Russian Tea, and back here is Love Kills. Some of my Aqua de Palmas is Fico di Amalfi, uh, Oud EDP, Osmantis, and the original Colonia. I did just get two from Louis Vuitton, which is La Mensite and Nouve Monde. For my Menceras, I have Melody of the Sun, which is a new launch, a Oud exclusive, Hindu Kush, a Oud Lemon Mint, Black Gold, of course, Cedra Boise, and the iconic Red Tobacco. Uh, two Montals back here as well, Black Oud Intense. And Aqua Palma, which is also a new release. I have a few from Amor Oud, Oud Du Jour, Spicy Citrus, and Whetstone. Now for some of my Alexandria fragrances, I have Black Tie Affair, Black Panther, Hatsi Vaz, Zion, Havez Cigar, Forbidden Plum, Arabian Horse, and I have Game Time back there. Now for the new Niche House Mind Games, I have, of course have Grand Master. I have Double Attack. I have Gar uh, Gardez. Checkmate right here. I have Blockade. I also have Asuli's Diamond. And the last one is Castling. Of course, I have Mason Margiela's By the Fireplace, Nas Models Black Afghano, Paris Corner, this is uh, Oud Imperial, or I mean Paris Monte Carlo, my Sir Zutans, which is Baptiste Defoe. I have a couple of Joe Malone's, which is Oud and Bergamot, and Myrrh and Tonka, my Etat Le Braid de Orange, and that is I Am Trash, my Ronicu Gabes, this is Sexy Gardic, and Cap de Antipes, I believe. That's how you say it. My Habibi, which is Urban Oud. A few of my fragrance ones, which is Black Tie, Office for Men, and of course the last one is Date for Men. Some of my Zara, which is actually the Zara X Joe Malone collaboration, Ebony Wood, Joe's Rhubarb, and Magnificently Dubai. I have Boho Boko's Yellow Rose Incense. Imaginary Authors, A City on Fire. Not for my Banana Republics, which I do have quite a few as you guys can see. My first one is Cordovan Vintage. I have Slate Arctic. I have Black Walnut Legend, if you can see that. Now for my Icon Collection, which is U Mosaic, Vintage Green, Leather Reserve, Black Platinum, Pure White, Linen Vetiver, Neroli Woods, Tobacco and Tonka Bean, Dark Cherry and Amber, Cypress Cedar, Grassland, Gardenia and Cardamom, Metal Rain, Peony and Peppercorn, Velvet Pomegranate, Midnight Hour, I also have Tuberos Overdose, and I have Rosewood Amore by Banana Republic. Let's move up to my Guerlains, which are Louis. I have Vetiver right there. L'Homme Ideal Eau de Parfum. L'Homme Ideal Le Intense. And back there, I have L'Homme Ideal Sport. I have my Hubegant, which is Figuar Noir, a phenomenal fig fragrance. Now my Rosas, which consists of Scandal Parfum Cologne, Danger Parfum Cologne, Oceania, 
Elysium Parfum Cologne, Vetiver Parfum Cologne, I have Apex Parfum, Apex, which is the Eau de Parfum, and then I also have Creation E Parfum Cologne. My two Amouages, which is Interlude Man and Figment Man back there. Now all of my Zaharals, which are Signature Royale X, Signature Rosé, Signature Tabac, Signature Noir, and the original Signature Pour Homme. Right here I have my Sospero, which is a Vibrato, which is actually kind of a, a sister company to Zerzoff, which is right here. I have P33, I have Nexos, and I have Renaissance in the back. Now my Creeds, obviously I have Aventus, Creed Royal Oud, Aventus Cologne, and Silver Mountain Water. I have one Parfum de Mali, which is Leighton. My Bond number no. 9s, I have Black Sapphire, which is in the Dubai collection, and the Scent of Peace for him. House of Siage, I have number 4. I have number 1. And I have Passion de l'Amour, Nouvelle uh, Liaison, I believe that's how you say it. Now my Nishan A's, I have Ani and B612. Fragrance Dubois, I have New York Intense, Cannabis Intense, Cannabis Blue, and back here I have Santal Complet. My Initio Parfum is uh, Mystic Experience. I have Byron Parfumance Mula Mula, uh, Ormond J Mont Tobacco Verano, of course, Mason Francis Kirchon back at Adrush 540. I also have my two Frederick Malls, which is Promise and Musk Ravageur. I have my Wilhelm Parfumery to my father, which is a phenomenal new launch. I have two Killians or two by Killians, which is Angel Share and one of my favorites, Straight to Heaven. And then wrapping up my bottles, I have Titiana Terenzi's Urza. Now on the top, I do have um, some things. I have my Louis Vuitton miniature set, which is an awesome collector's item right there. Pretty much five Louis Vuitton 10 mil miniatures, which is sweet. To some books I have over here, all of my, pretty much my samples. I do have samples somewhere else because I can't fit them all right there. Pretty much my decants from Decant X, as you see, a miniature wooden Neroli right there as well. I have actually a uh, Byron Parfum, it's Black Dragon and the Chronic, which is a 15 ml bottle which is pretty nice. A couple of John Mervados miniatures, images back there, a bunch of decants, etc. But that's pretty much my entire fragrance collection. Like I said, I basically have over 300 bottles and it has grown incredibly fast this last year. I can't even believe it. I'm going to have to add a new bookshelf probably this year because I am running out of space. But I hope you guys did enjoy my 2023 fragrance collection video. Let me know down below some of the fragrances you think about picking up this year and how many bottles you guys own. But as always, leave a like, comment down below, and I'll see all you guys in my next video. Take care, everybody.